Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal Golden and I am clearing the space right now, opening it up to anyone following a light heart path. This is some cypress I received from a friend named Rowan quite some time ago, but I am very appreciative of them and this offering. I received um hopefully I could be doing I will be doing a collaborative video with them sometime in the future and I also will have some kind of new headset soon hopefully in the next video so I am going to start this or to talk about myself a little bit in this video to just introduce myself a bit and who I am and to talk about some of my experiences and why I feel this is a an important part of my purpose and yeah why I am here basically so I I'm going to read and begin with a little short story I actually wrote back in 2016, a few months after recovering from a double lung transplant, which is an event that I have uh, overcome and is a pretty significant role in why I feel this is my purpose and it really uh, solidified or confirmed um, what I felt about Source and just wanting to connect with my divine power and this, the overall collective energy I felt, um, I've always felt connected to. Basically, it was a trial that forced me into um, surrendering to this, surrendering to the unknown. And I'm going to read you a little short story that I wrote that I, at the time I simply just channeled. I, and I felt very called to write these words. It was very quick, under an hour, I felt like, and I wasn't even really sure what it meant at first, and it's taken me a long time to really just understand and to realize that, that this is even about me. Um, and it can be about anyone if it resonates with you, if you resonate with being a crystal child or a star seed. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to read the story and then I will dive into it and dissect it a little bit afterwards and how it relates to me and how I've just come into this path, basically, so. Story is called I Love You. And as a little preface that goes, as a human, I have learned that humanity has created a world in which white is pure and black is evil. If we loved as much as we hated, the world would be a new place. The black and the white would fade into a lovely gray in which the lotus flower would bloom. Lotuses are water lilies known for the creation of life, creation. This is the legend of the crystal child, the goddess of the golden light. There was once a child who was sent down from the stars. Her eyes shine bright, full of light. She was able to bend time using numbers and split light into a magnificent array of colors, most invisible to the human eye. She was a healer, a teacher, a leader, and most importantly, a lover. She lived in the light of love and she was able to shed negativity from any dark corner and everything she touched turned to gold. <laughs> She had a green thumb, however, and boy, this thumb was a jackass if she didn't know how to focus her light in the West. The West is where she rose every day, 
Slow and steady, but big and beautiful. This is how everything begins. Slow and steady. But things need time to rest and to rejuvenate in order for their energy to swing into full action. And she learned of her responsibilities and self-control early on in life, thanks to this green thumb of hers. While green is a sign of love and healing, there is a dark side to this usual color of truth. Sometimes green glistens as a reminder to help. It is so beautiful and captivating. Green can sometimes be greedy. The crystal child had eyes to realize the real lies that people told her, for they shine through any veil. The truth is what she saw, what she heard, and what she spoke. The word was very important to her. For everything she put into the universe was nothing other than spectacular. She loved to put on a show just to see people smile. For that smile and the little glimpse of happiness in people's eyes is where love resides. And, to love, and love to the goddess is more than just a word. It was a whole nother realm, a safe haven. For when she simply thinks of love, the world she created for herself is at a standstill. Peace. This is where she learned of the value of silence. She understood that for every word she spoke or action, action she took, she decided to make a fracture in the time on this line of life here on earth. Karma can be a bitch sometimes, but she knew that with love in her heart and eyes bright, full of light, pure magic was possible. And this is paradise. So, this is my little short story I created. And it's very significant for me because I feel like it holds a lot of powerful insights in a very <laughs> condensed story. So I'm going to break it down for you guys. Um, yeah, the beginning starts with uh, me explaining white light and black light and how I feel that it is a pretty common perception to see white light as pure source or God energy or angelic and it's meant to be protective and healing and how i see light is um i have a very i feel that me in the story i try to explain how i have a very unique perception of light and colors and numbers and energy and how i view light or white light is the combination or the makeup of all colors on the human visible eye spectrum. So, and how light works is that the light we see is actually being reflected back. So, that means white light is so powerful that it is vibrating at a rate which reflects all light and absorbs everything that is non-light. Um, therefore, black light or black is colorless and is the lack of light energy. And this color or lack of color is actually consuming and absorbing all of the visible light and it is can feel overwhelming or empty because that is the unknown and loving as much as we hated or releasing ourselves of the fear and judgments uh, allows us to surrender to what life gives us and to surrender to the reality that is already here in front of us. But that doesn't mean necessarily uh, giving up. That means accepting and being able to receive the lessons that give us a true connection to our inner power and to what we're actually capable of overcoming. It's accept acceptance of 
the unknown and accepting what we fear allows us to move forward and to move through it and instead of avoiding it and allowing it to manifest further and being able to move through it is our ability to transmute that energy to give the lack of light light and to shine our perspective on it and the white light and the black light combining into creating the gray is us facing our fears and to allow ourselves to move forward and creating that gray is is the mud it is the messiness it is it's hard it's not it is a process that we have to sift through in order to find the gems underneath or to be able the mud gives the roots the stability in order to grow stronger and the the tree can only grow as tall as it is rooted deeply so you have to keep going diving deeper and facing the unknown in order to truly understand your divine power and to keep growing up as well uh, yeah so having had a parent uh, being diagnosed with juvenile arthritis at a young age and i've always had a connection to spirits and to feel energies in a unique way i have always felt different and that i was never meant to take a usual path i was meant to create something unique and I was gifted my first tarot deck. Oh, I was introduced to tarot through my grandmother and her sister when I was a very young child. And I was gifted my first deck at the age of 13. And while it took me a while to really accept that this was my path, I've always felt connected and drawn towards spirit and the unknown and wanting to learn more about energy and how we interact with it and to understand it on a deeper level and when i if i had just gotten into really learning that meditation was super helpful and to I discovered that um, crystals and healing minerals were a thing just months prior to me going through this significant uh, initiation of the lung transplant where I felt it was a real test to see if I would surrender to love and that means to me surrendering to what the universe has to offer and that meant not fighting my fear it meant just or not fighting not allowing fear to seep in and to understand that if i was going through this because i was strong enough and I knew that it wasn't my time to go and that it was meant to show me how powerful we as humans are. Like my story is just one fractal throughout the whole. I'm meant to be a reflection for others to see our potential that I was gifted this ability to give these lungs a second chance at life 
and that whoever the donee donor had their life was sacrificed for me to live and i am infinitely grateful and i connect to them and i un i want to give them this these lungs and where we share the same oxygen in this universe so when i breathe i'm my lungs are reading it in the same way not that i read mentally when i was born but physically i'm able to feel like the memories or just the energy that this person had breathed as as they that because i get to breathe through their perspective i get to physically feel it and I felt I was gifted this ability since I have an open mind to receive this energy. I, I was gifted this unique experience to show it is possible and to show our human ability to really connect with spirit and that we have, that we are spirit beings, that we feel physical that our being able to feel physicality is our gift. And I am grateful. I am I'm so fucking grateful to still be here and to have this experience and to be able to share it with you. And I think that I'm going to end this video for now and I will talk more in a part two about the rising in the west and the green thumb aspects of the story because I honestly haven't even really fully developed a clear understanding of what that means to me yet but I want to channel more and share that with you guys and I am so grateful that you have joined me here and like and subscribe please comment below any questions or just suggestions for anything i truly value your input and your feedback and your appreciation i appreciate you guys and your support so much it is an honor to be here and i try to uh, respond to everything i receive any comments or messages it might take me a couple days but i i try to uh respond to you guys that I do greatly appreciate you and I would love to develop a connection with you and yeah uh, I will see you guys in part two if you join me over there I love you and have a wonderful day and weekend whenever you watch this love you